Hello and welcome to the Mark Dennis Guide to Legal Considerations in E-Commerce. This will be a short self-help video for business managers or entrepreneurs who want to keep up with the hot issues in e-commerce. This is based on a research report from 2012 which comprised the OFTC's concerns of compliance. Let's begin. The first issue is customers' cancellation rights. Customers need to be told how they can change their orders, how they can cancel them and how they can get their money back within seven days in their cooling off period. Clover Retailer Next have recently been hot water for this and have now had to make necessary changes. This issue relates to the terms of supply of goods or services being easily accessible. A pre-populated accept box is not sufficient. This needs to be brought specifically to the consumer's attention or businesses may risk this not being enforceable. This is a new bill drafted in 2013. It is intended to be a wholesale reform of the UK consumer protection landscape and will have an effect on the conditions by which goods and services are sold online. Businesses are advised to review their terms and conditions to ensure they are compliant. Online businesses in the UK need to have a clearly written cookies policy. Express consent of the visitor for most cookies needs to be obtained. This is often required through clear banners, footers and other techniques which catch the eye. The Data Protection Act of 1995 exists so that consumers' information is used responsibly and securely. The entire Act will soon be out of date as in 2016 a new regulation is expected to become law. This will include new rules such as more rights to the individual. Individuals will have a right to be forgotten, meaning all data for an individual can be wiped. Something important for social media. It is important that businesses prepare for these changes and adapt to the new criteria. I hope this advice has been helpful. For more information, visit these websites, oft.gov.uk, legislation.gov.uk. Thank you.